So this is the start of this global campaign that we're trying to host to figure out how can we solve this? How can we build tools to curb how pervasive the situation is? We've been doing some brainstorming and we have so many interested ideas. One of the things is how to bring privacy to machine learning, how to preserve the data, how to preserve the anonymity of someone. But I want to think how to save the person who is but how to save the person who is not Since we got here, we're walking. Even when we got to the hotel, we're still walking. So that's what made me feel that we're going to do it. Cyber psychology is a new discipline that studies the impact of uh, the technology on human. She will uh, be depressed and stop work, uh, stop studying if she is a student. So I get this question a lot. If you don't want to be harassed online, don't be online. But then they will tell you why there is not enough content created by women in technology. And then they will ask you why there is not enough women in technology. Well, guess what? In order for us to be in technology, we, not to, we need to feel safe online to learn this technology, right? You start to break at the stereotypes, right? This narrative of, you know, it's a woman's fault and that we shouldn't be online. And if you put your photo online, you deserve it, right? Like it's shifting that narrative to really showing that we deserve to be online. We deserve to be safe and we have every right to act how we want to act without having to experience violence for that. I want um, the young females who are online to be safe enough to chase their dreams, to go learn artificial intelligence, machine learning, so many beautiful things that are happening out there. And I don't want this to hold them back because this negative thing can stay back and mar you from reaching your potential. If we all felt safer online, we will have content that's driven by empathy more than just facts. We will have content that is really addressed to the right people, including women, not excluding them. <laughs> I know that this is a hard challenge. I know we're not gonna be able to solve it overnight. But I'm also very optimistic in the sense that I believe in a world where we don't have to experience violence. Like I, I've existed in spaces where there has been pure joy, right? And I felt fully safe. And, I, and that feeling of being able to be fully myself in all parts of my identity is a small example of hope that that could exist, because it does exist. This is about one, beginning to start to minimize that level of violence that exists, but working towards that world where really there isn't violence that faces women online.